Hello, this is another update from the OpenH development team. We are writing a free software Age of Empires engine, and it's me, JJ. And also me, Chris. Hello. And together we'll now tell you about our new release update 0 0.5. So from the outside, the 0 0.4 version looks uh, pretty much uh, playable, but in fact, uh, there's uh, many, many things missing. And uh, in the background, in the background, all the code was a great mess. So it was unmaintainable and very slow. And we realized nobody will fix it. The problem is that the code was very object oriented and it started somewhere in a game main thing and then calls jump around and go wild. At some point, the terrain draws the buildings and so it's not very well structured. But it works, just not great. So since nobody else would probably do this, we had to fix it ourselves. Yeah, right. And so we designed a new engine structure from scratch. We separated all the functionality into different dedicated systems. So now we have a separate renderer that just does rendering and a separate input system that just does inputs. And the uh, original unit classes still exist, but they only hold data. And the whole gameplay system is event-based and uh, it works much smoother. Uh, we also upgraded the code base a bit. Uh, you can see that we now use C++ plenty and maybe C++ 23 in the next year. And we also, we, th uh, we thrown out SDL2 and replaced everything with uh, Qt6. Uh, so that would should work much better. And we also tried out some new AI code systems uh, and integrated that into uh, human flow. So yeah, very exciting stuff. Uh, the results of that are already uh, great. We have better performance. We have uh, about 10 to 20 times speed as in renderer, which is actually very necessary because the old renderer was really, really slow. And we now can also use multi-threading. We can maintain the code better. It should be much more understandable, which is important for um, outside developers. And uh, yeah, there's less chance that we accidentally break things if we add new stuff. and. Also, the engine should now be much more usable, maybe more for developers than actual <laughs> gameplay users. But uh, we improved the cross-platform support a little bit and we also hit a lot of the complexity that was there before. Yeah, uh, as you can see, that's our current status. It's not um, up to the point where we got in 0 0.4, but we are rapidly adding the stuff back that we uh, that we supported in 0 0.4. And the next steps are to basically integrate everything that we uh, remade in the 0 0.5 upgrade. So HUD rendering, path rendering, audio support, that all had to be ported from the old systems and um, added back into the engine into uh, in a more sensible, sensible structure. Yes, so... Uh, Thanks so much for the contributions that we all already got uh, in the past month. Um, it's uh, uh, real helps, and we're looking forward to to getting more contributions now that we cleaned up the the code and it's more usable. And if you want to stay up to date with the development progress, please join our Matrix chat room or read our monthly news posts. Uh, you can see them at our blog or on Reddit. And of course, it would be very awesome if you contributed features to our code base so that we can become a really cool Age of Empires engine.